concepts will be clear as we see a lot many different examples but today's class is basically i am taking this class uh, for explaining to you the complete installation of sql on your system mysql on your system then uh, how to get your system ready for python and mysql connectivity because now that you have to incorporate that in your project it is very very necessary so today we are going to see that be ready for a lot of hit and trial okay so i'll be sharing with you as you can see here i'll be sharing with you one folder named sql connection which contains all the required files which you would require to install by install mysql on your system currently i am using a 64 bit operating system of uh, windows 10 uh this can work on windows 8 also and windows 7 also right this uh, entire folder all the files which i have taken here they will work on windows 7 windows 8 as well as windows 10 but not less than that right so over here you can see certain files which i have mysql installer community mysql uh, installer web community now if you use the web community then uh, actually this installer downloads all the required files from the internet so internet connection is mandatory for this uh, file and if you are using the offline installer which is the first one you don't need internet connection right and this is a small update for installing your uh, mysql installer in case it gives you an exception if in case it throws an exception you need to install this update on your system and it will work for both 32 bit as well as 64 bit system so don't install it beforehand only when you get that error message you need to install it next we have python uh, versions so i have two versions of python here python 3.7 and python 3.8.5 so either one of them you can install on your pc and you also have i also these are two files test files which i have created one is an sql file which contains uh, a simple sql command for creating a sample table and and one is test.py which is a sample python program which is used for which you, we will be used for testing the python mysql connectivity right so uh, let's begin with this there might be some difficulties we will see if we face any difficulties although this is tried and tested in your computer lab but if there are certain difficulties we will try to solve it later on right so i am going to start with the my uh, my sql yes you can see over here by my sql installer community right so first of all i am going to double click on this and start this application it will take a while to open So you'll see the windows installer over here so you can see the mysql installer and it is going to configure all the things and here we are going to choose uh, we will go to go to custom so we'll go to custom click on next 
and from here we will only select one thing that is we'll go to mysql servers that is over here So we are going to go to MySQL servers and from here we will just click on this plus sign. We'll expand the plus sign and you will choose uh, the most suitable version for you. If your system is a 32 bit system, then you can go for the x86 version. And if your system is a 64 bit uh, uh, system, you can go for the first one. How to check whether your system is a 32 bit system or a 64 bit system? So we'll go to the desktop, we'll go to this PC, right click on that and click on properties. So when you click on properties, uh, the all the different system details will appear. So here you'll be able to see this part over here, system type. 64 bit operating system and if right now my system is a 64 bit operating system and if your system is a 32 bit operating system it will display 32 bit over here so that way you will understand whether you have to install the first one or the second one if it is 64 bit go for the first one and if it is, if it is 32 bit go for the second one so i'm going for the first one over here and just click on this arrow button because i need to install only this part and go to next and now i'll click on execute and wait for uh, my sql server to install on my i'm going for a uh, for an older version which will be compatible with windows 7 windows 8 as well as windows 10. if you have a latest system you can go for the latest version of my sql which comes around to 8 version 8 okay and if you have an I have Windows 7 or an older system, go for an older version of MySQL server, but not less than 5.7. So it will take some time. As you can see the progress over here, it is uh, just installing. And now you can see the status as complete. So we'll go to the next step and again go to next. And now all the configuration will take place. So here you don't need to change anything. Just check on these boxes okay, and go to next. And root password. So for a root password, uh, if you are using it on a personal computer, go for a very simple password. I'm going for 1234 and I'm going to retype the password also. Don't worry about your password being weak or strong, okay, because you are using it on your personal system and for study purposes only, so it doesn't really matter and don't make any other changes or else you will simply complicate the steps. Now go to next and here just uh, leave it as, leave all the settings as it is and you can see the Windows service name over here, MySQL 57 go to click on next and here just click on execute and wait for all the steps to complete i will be providing you with the entire folder you can download it from the description when I upload this uh, video on YouTube. So you can download it from there, from my drive. And you can do not have to look here and there for the different files. Now this uh, step takes a little longer time over here. So we need to be a bit patient with this. So now you can see all the steps are completed and we'll click on finish. Now we'll again click on next and we'll click on finish and we'll just go to start and just check. So you, you can see over here that MySQL command line client is installed over here. So we will just click on the first one 
and just provide the password over here. So I'll just increase the font size so that you can see. So let me just take it as. I hope the screen is now visible to you. So the password was one, two, three, four. And now you can see that you get the MySQL prompt command prompt over here. So this shows that your MySQL is ready to work. Okay. Now I'm just going to type show databases command to check out all the databases on my system. So by default, these are the four uh, databases which are there: information schema, MySQL, performance schema, and sys. And so I'm going to just uh, create a database over here. So I already have uh, the SQL file opened over here. So I'm just going to copy all the commands here and I'll just paste it using right click and enter. And you can see this database is created. And first of all, database is created. Then I'm using the command use database to uh, actually open that and then create a table. Now, if you just check out the content of the database, it will show and using this command show tables over here and you can see student table is there. Right now, student table is empty. So if you just use DSC student, you can see two fields over. So this is this part this much shows that your database, your MySQL server is ready to go. Okay, now I'm going to type exit over here because now I have to work on Python MySQL connectivity. So I will start with installing Python 3.7. So I'm just going to double click on that. And now over here, please pay attention to few things. Uh, Normally it shows you can see this install now and it is showing C users test app data local programs. So students this particular option is for installing Python only for this particular user and it goes to app data folder which is not the correct thing to do when you have to install different other modules and user libraries. So for that uh, I will be using install launcher for all users and add this two parts. So I'll first go to customize installation over here and you can see. So first I'll go back and add this to path. Then I'll go to customize installation. Make sure all of these are checked and click on next. And in advanced option, you have to make sure that is you check this box install for all users. You can see when I uncheck this, it shows the install lo installation location as app data folder. But when I click on this install for all users, it shows the location as C program files x86 python 37-32. So this is the path which I need. So that is why please check this box install for all users and click on install and wait for Python to install on your system. So we'll wait for some time. It will take a little bit of time. So just be patient with this. Actually, when we save everything, when we choose to install it in the app data folder, uh, many a times working with installing user libraries and other things becomes very, very cumbersome and difficult. OK, so that is the reason why it is always best to uh, install it in program files, because then uh, thereafter, installation of various different user libraries and modules becomes very easy. Why I'm taking this uh, class today? Because I want you all to understand this step, uh, every step properly 
and to do the needful at your own end because you will be working on your project so for your project it is very very important and as you have already seen yesterday i had posted varun singh's uh, varun singh and teams project uh, documentation in your in the class group so i want everybody's documentation to be as detailed as they have done it okay they have done they have worked very hard from the very beginning and they have uh, incorporated all the different um, as many modules as they can okay so and they have taken a lot many different screenshots their screenshots are very very output screenshots are very detailed so that is what i am expecting from the others that is the level at least which you have to touch right for your practical exam i will not accept anything less than that you have already been working from the very beginning so now it's time to wrap up things so we are almost uh, completing the installation over here a few more moments and then we'll be uh, going to the next step that is to configure uh, the python mysql connectivity Okay, so here there is something like disable path length limit. So I'm just going to I'm just going to click on this and click on close. So now we have installed uh, MySQL. Let us first check where we have MySQL on the system. So we'll go to C drive and we'll go to program files x86. And here we have to look for Python. So you can see MySQL folder here and you can also see Python folder. And in this, you need to go to scripts and here just copy the link. So I have copied the link. Now we'll go to desktop we'll go to this pc right click on this go to properties and over here we'll go to advanced system settings and in this system properties box we'll click on environment variables and here we'll click on path and we'll go to uh, edit and in this i'm going to click on new and just paste the path which I have copied and just click on OK over here. And here also in the system variables, you can see path. So here also just go to edit, click on new and just paste that. And just use, uh, just insert another slash backslash over here. Although you can see it is already added over here. So if it is already added, no need to add it you can just cancel it right because it was it is already added there now click on ok and click on ok here close this window and now we'll go to uh, just press window button plus r on your keyboard and type there cmd and or the best way is we go to the search box and type cmd over here now you can see cmd go for run it run as administrator and now over here just type the command pip install mysql dash dash there is a problem with the n and b key on my keyboard dash python mysql dash connector dash python Press enter and allow uh, MySQL to connector uh, package to be installed on your system. Now you can see that it has already been installed. So we will exit this 
and now we'll open a python program so we'll just add i'm just going to add this python idle to start same way i'm also going to add mysql command line client so i'm going to start with python idle now your python idle is configured let me increase the font size by going to configure idle it will take some time to retrieve the fonts and let me just make it 16 and apply okay now we'll go to file new file and just save this file with a name so i'm just going to save this file or no need of doing that because already we have the test file so we'll go to file open and the location where we have that sql connection folder so this this is my folder and this is the test.py program click on open it contains a sample program just to test that whether your uh, connection database connection is working or not so i'm going to run this and you can see test connection successful and one uh, record has been added to your database how to check that for this again we will go to the python we'll go to mysql command line client key in the password and just use the database here the name of my database is gargi db so there is a problem with b key on my keyboard but still select star from student you can see one record has been added over here right so this shows that your python mysql connectivity is working fine on your system so now your system is now this computer is ready for any type of python or mysql connectivity programs so this is how you can install a python on your system you can install mysql on your system and you can work with python and mysql connectivity